Yeah, that is a sandwich these days in Joe Biden's economy. The CPI print inflation rose 0.4% month over month and 3.5% year over year, hotter than the respective estimate of a 0.3% and 3.4% core CPI, which excludes food and energy costs, also climbed by 0.4% over the prior month and a 3.8% over the prior year. For more expert insight and the latest and the latest market action, article is from Yahoo Finance. The CPI print just crossing the wires on a year-over-year -year basis, coming in the headlines number just a bit hotter than expected by 3.5%. Also on a month-to-month -month basis, coming in hotter by four-tenths of a percent increases from the previous month. That was in the line with what we saw at the prior month. There, when we take a look at the core CPI print on a month-over-month -month basis, that was also slightly hotter than what Wall Street was looking for growth on a fourth-tenth of a percent to the core CPI print on a year-to-year -year basis. The 3.8% still holding steady from the number that we saw the increase last month. Okay guys, this is enough verbal salad. So I'll ask the editors to take us to see what's going on with Biden's economy and his administration about when they brag so hard about not having inflation when it's running so hot. Here, as the CPI shows. So editors, come on, roll clip, fair use. Santelli is standing by at the CME. Rick, take it away. Yes, we are looking at yields popping up and we are very close to the number here. They should be populating on the screen. This is, as Becky pointed out, March Consumer Price Index. The headline number expected to be up three-tenths is hotter than expected. It's up four-tenths of a percent, four-tenths of a percent, which equals our last look. And, of course, uh, to look for a higher number would be August of last year when it was up 0.5. But in between, we're as low as 0.1 in October of last year. This doesn't seem like it's cooling very quickly here. 0.4 if you strip out food and energy. Back-to-back 0.4s last month as well. As Becky pointed out, we we're expecting 0.3. Uh, to find a higher number, you'll go to April of last year when it was 0.5. And in between, the low number was two tenths several times last year. If you look at year over year CPI, uh, we're expecting 3.4, hotter than expected, 3.5. This is three tenths, three tenths hotter than we looked at in the rear view mirror, 3.2. To find a bigger number than 3.5, you're going back to May of last year when it was, oh, I, excuse me, I am wrong, September of last year when it was 3.7. And finally, what many would consider the most important number, uh, year over year CPI. CPI core 3.8 hotter than expected equals the rear view mirror to, to find a higher number January was 3.9 and what's the lowest it's been of late well 3.8 our last look and what we have today actually is the lowest since 3.0 in April of 21 the issue is it's still running hot just in inflation is headed in the wrong direction right now the latest consumer price report just out shows Price is up 3.5% this over same time last year. CNN's Rahel Solomon, just looking through it all, just running into the studio to help us out. What are you seeing in this? Hey, Kate. So, yeah, you put it pretty well there that this is moving in the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. So, 3.5% uh, on an annual basis. To put that in context, that is hotter than what we were expecting and certainly hotter than we saw the month prior. If you look at a CPI on, an, on a monthly basis, sort of a similar trend there, right? So, uh, coming in at 0.4% on a monthly basis. That is also hotter than we were expecting. Okay. I want to show two more. Um, the undecided voters were also asked how they think President Biden is doing on the economy. Take a listen. I think he's been absolutely disastrous for the economy. Mm -hmm. I agree. It's very strange if you think President Trump's policies on the economy would be better for your family personally. Raise your hand. All right. So that is everybody. President Biden uh, argues that his economic record has been very good. He said President <laughs> Trump's was not as good. Um, <laughs> what, what, what are yeah. you keying off of, uh, Sean, since you had the best smile I mean, in Virginia, we, the second best smile? What are you keying off of to say President Trump's economic policies would be better for I you? I mean, the, my past performance of my, of my 401k, I know it was post-2020 and everything kind of flipped around, but you can't you can't blame everything on 2020 for forever. We have areas here in Pennsylvania where it's just at a standstill right now. Like things are supposed to be being built and the interest rates are just way too high for people to 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 you know invest and, and start moving 
moving around. And, and Virginia, just staying with you, because because Pennsylvania is near and dear to Joe Biden's heart. Are, are there Biden policies that you would blame for the problem? And if so, what are they? The interest rate is so high right now, and I know they're trying to um, cut the inflation down. But like, if nobody is building, no no businesses are really coming to Pennsylvania right now to keep us moving forward. Even if you're trying to um, buy a house, because I'm trying to become a first time home buyer, the prices are so high right now. It, it's just hard. Is there anything Joe Biden could do or say between now and 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 the time you vote that would make you feel differently about? feeling that his policies would not be as good for your family on the economy? Or have you, or you pretty much decided that Trump's policies would be better for the I, economy? I mean, I feel like he doesn't even take accountability for what's at all with what's going on in the economy. Not even accountability. Like, he's in denial that it's happening. The point is Biden needs to hear the people, because when he's talking about the economy doing stellar, he's talking about the stock market. He's not looking at homelessness or joblessness. He's not at that age's point and thinking about how much it costs to go to the grocery store. And he's gaslighting. Literally everyone in the process. Okay. And, and Omar, you voted for Joe Biden last time, right? Yeah, yeah. Some really important and hard insights for the Biden campaign to hear there. And hearing all that, you might think things are pretty bad for President Biden. That was not good. Hey, guys, it's Jose, your regular Joe Blow again, keeping an eye out and my ears open to the CPI numbers coming in hot, no matter how many times or how hard they try to remove or as so sophisticated said, exclude food and energy, inflation is still high. We should never have had inflation this high. Had Joe Biden opened up the economy and not take down all of Trump's policies on day one of his presidency. I believe Joe Biden will make history as the worst president for the USA. But this is my opinion. Guys, let's continue to thrive, push forward, and make ends meet. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sticking with me. You guys award me the energy to do my best to bring you the best. Thank you again. Guys, remember, stay free. It ain't hard to tell. I excel, then prevail.